Right, so Norbertus says, this is, a, this is the question, okay? So our buddy Norbertus says, I've been really enjoying reading your content, Lucid Dreaming has always fascinated me, but I have a small question. Instead of just having a lucid dream, is it possible to set up a dream before you go to sleep? I feel like that would be really interesting. Now, okay, so I'm gonna approach this question in a few different ways. So when in terms of setting up a dream before you go to sleep, yes, it is possible to sort of seed your mind for a certain dream and then have that dream, or at least dream about that topic when you go to sleep. That being said, you can never create entire dreams before you actually go to sleep, because what, what happens is when, you, when you're when you in a dream, before we get into this guys, could you just please take two seconds to subscribe, leave a like, and as you're watching this, if you feel the need to comment, then please do. I, I try and reply to them all and I try and pin a comment that might be you know most interesting to you guys. It's your subconscious mind that creates the scene, okay? Your subconscious mind, the bit of your, if you imagine that your, your mind is like a, an iceberg, you may have heard this analogy. So you have, let me draw it for you actually. So, firstly, just appreciate my amazing drawing. But so, this is the mind, okay? This is the sea level, I guess you could say. This tip of the iceberg here is the conscious mind. This massive chunk of ice here underneath the water is the subconscious mind. The idea is that this part is almost never visible or, you know, you can never really experience or interact with this part because it's subconscious, right? So, what that means is that because it's the subconscious part of your mind that creates the dream, you can't really tell it what to do. So, it, I mean, that's the definition of it, it's subconscious. It's below the conscious threshold. The, if you imagine your consciousness is the top part, which is what allows you to make decisions and to choose what to do, your, your subconscious is the part of your mind that is responsible for all those really profound, complicated things that you'd have no idea how to do or how to choose to do, like, you know, regulating your blood pressure building dream scenes like this is the sort of thing that your subconscious mind is very good at but your conscious mind would have no chance at even attempting so you can't create a dream scene before you go to sleep because that's what the subconscious mind does when you have a dream it's the subconscious massive chunk of your mind that you're largely not in control of that is responsible for creating the whole dream scene that you experience, right? The mountains, the sky, the weather, the feeling of the place, the, the, the dream characters, everything is your subconscious mind. And by lucid dreaming, what you're doing is awakening part of your conscious mind in a way that allows you to feel like you're experiencing something brand new. But in reality, what's actually happening is you're waking up a small part of your mind to allow you to be aware of the world that your subconscious mind is creating. I don't know if you're, if you, hopefully you're following along with this, but it's like an inception where they say that your mind creates and experiences the dream at the same time. So at the same time as you walk down the street, you might think that you're exploring or discovering that street in the dream, but what's actually happening is your subconscious mind is creating the street at the same time as you're exploring and discovering it. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us in it, that leaves us with a problem. You can't tell your subconscious mind what to create because it's subconscious. It doesn't listen to your conscious mind for the most part, okay? There are exceptions to this. But what you can do is you can influence your subconscious mind when you're in the dream. And that starts with influencing it before you're in the dream. Now, let me explain what I mean by this. So your subconscious mind will take hints from your conscious mind. If you repeat something over and over and over and over again, it seeps into your subconscious mind. I can't really think of an analogy that will bring this back to the iceberg, but just imagine that, imagine that your subconscious mind is like a sponge and it will absorb pretty much everything that your conscious mind experiences. Okay, so everything that your conscious mind hears, sees, smells, feels and thinks will be absorbed by your subconscious mind. Okay, now I can't tell you where the subconscious mind will store that information or how it will even organize it, but I can tell you that if you consciously repeat something over and over again, eventually, and you know, this will take some time, but eventually your subconscious mind will absorb it and take it on board as a valid idea. This is how beliefs are formed, this is how habits are formed, and this is pretty much what governs most of our lives, is the things we repeatedly do 
consciously, the, thing, the things we at first, right, consciously choose to do, eventually seep into our subconscious mind and become a habit or a belief. This is what governs pretty much whether we succeed or fail in life, this is what governs our beliefs. Almost everything is governed by this process. So I'm going to bring it back full circle to the uh, creating a dream scene in a minute. So we've got this massive subconscious mind that is able to create the whole dream scene and decide how you're going to experience it and everything like that. And then you've got your tiny conscious mind at the very top, which is like a tiny little sort of bean in comparison to the subconscious mind, which is more like a melon. I don't know why I'm using you know food as an analogy, but here we are. So your, your conscious mind, or the bean, at the very top is responsible for your choices, okay? And your, the things that you choose or decide to think or do. So what you can do, you can't tell your subconscious mind what to do, but you can consciously decide what to believe or think about or imagine, okay? Now, hopefully you'll see where I'm going with this. If you consciously, when you're awake, repeatedly imagine something over and over and over again, and you vividly visualize it, Okay, you really put effort into imagining this thing, whether it's a dream scene or a belief or a statement, affirmation, even just telling yourself that you can give up your bad habits like waking up late or something, whatever it is. You repeatedly do it, eventually it's going to sink into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is going to make it happen. This is the fundamental sort of key to success. Whatever you consciously think repeatedly becomes a subconscious belief or habit, which then governs your actions, behaviours, which then influence the world around you, which then influences your life right? Who you are, what you have, and what you do. So, here's what you do. To create a dream scene, I know this has been a long-winded response, but I felt like going on a rant today. <laughs> so, to create a dream scene, you need to consciously, when you're awake, decide what the dream is going to be. Whether it's you want to dream about being on a beach, or whether it's dreaming about climbing Mount Everest, or even just sinking to the bottom of the ocean and being able to play with a fish. I don't know. You know, some people like that sort of thing. So, you need to consciously visualize the exact dream that you want. Now, when I say the exact dream, I don't mean visualize specific details. This is where my words are going to sound a bit sort of confusing if you're not following along. I don't mean visualize exact specific details. What I mean is visualize the exact type of dream you want, whether that's on a beach or on a mountain or under the sea or on a planet, whatever it is. Visualize the type of dream that you want and then let your mind uh, sort of create or fill in the blanks. Now, let me just remind you, this is when you're awake, okay? This is during the day. As in the same space of time that you might do a reality check, I want you to close your eyes during the day, several times a day, maybe 10 or, 10 or, 15, 10 or 15 times a day. I want you to close your eyes and visualize the dream you want to manifest that night. Or, you know, it probably won't happen that night. It might happen in two weeks time. It might happen in two months time. I don't really know. It's going to take some time, but if you constantly do it, it will happen. So close your eyes and visualize the dream that you want to have. Now, when, when I say visualize, say if it's a, let's use an example. Let's say if you want to dream about being on a beach and you want on that beach, you want to re reunite with your lost family member. Okay, so visualize the beach and then imagine or think about the person, the family member that you want to connect with. Right. What will happen is your mind will fill in the blanks, so you'll start to daydream. This is what daydreaming pretty much is, you're visualising things that aren't there. Your, your mind will start to fill in the blanks and start to fill that daydream or that uh, thought, right, that visualisation with memories of that person. Now, they won't all be the same. One day you might have different memories of the person than the next day. And this is obviously based on how you feel on that particular day. This is why I say you can never visualize or you know you can never create an exact dream scene because it will always be tainted by whatever you're feeling that day, okay? Or however your subconscious mind is feeling that day. So think about the person, think about the scene, and then just do that every time that you would have done a reality check. Do it 10 or 20 times a day. Eventually what's going to happen is, you're, because you're thinking about that thing so often, you're going to influence your subconscious mind, which is then going to create the dream scene for you. I can't tell you when it's going to happen because I don't know. It might happen in two days, two months, or even longer. I don't know. But if you constantly visualise that exact type of dream that you want to manifest, then it will happen. Your subconscious mind will make it happen. Now, there's one final thing. This has gone over 10 minutes, but I'm sorry, guys. This is, this is fairly important. So one final thing is when you visualize the dream, 
okay, when you're visualizing the dream 10 or 20 times a day, you need to, at the same time as visualizing it, just as like with a reality check, you also attach a belief or an affirmation to the check, right? Am I dreaming? You need to attach a, a mantra or an affirmation to the visualization. Okay, I'm using a lot of big words, but here's what I mean. Every time you think about the dream that you want to have, you need to tell yourself, I will have this dream. Or, you know, something along those lines. I will have a dream about being on a beach. Or, this is what I will dream about tonight. Okay, and you really need to believe it. You need to make yourself believe it. And that's pretty much it. You just do that, That you do that 10 or 20 times a day, every day until it happens. And it will happen fairly fast, usually, but it might take a bit longer. It depends on, you know, how strongly you're visualizing it, how much you want it, and how much experience you have with lucid dreaming anyway. You know, you might not even be lucid when it happens. You might just have a normal dream about the thing. But that is how to manifest dream scenes. And I know, you know, this is a pretty long video, but this is a, it's not a simple idea. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have actually watched to the end of this, then well done. You know, you've, you've done most, you've done better than average. I think the average view time on YouTube is about two minutes. So well done. Give yourself a reward, a reward by subscribing to me. <laughs> I don't know, that might work, you know.